The Lord, I take no pleasure in your solemnities. Your cereal offerings, I will not accept, nor consider your stall fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs, I will not listen to the melodies of your harps. But if you would offer me burnt offerings, then let justice surge like water, and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forests, beasts by the thousands on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is the blood of goats my drink? To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline, and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The Father willed to give us his birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gardaren, two demonics who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine. And the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea, where they drowned. The swineherds ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. There's one thing that usually we tend to forget when we either struggle of living out our faith, our daily life. This is the encounter with Christ is an encounter with the power of God. Usually it doesn't happen, we don't really see it usually. But then the gospel today reminds us of that. Because Christ is the Son of God. Christ has a power to transform. Christ has a power to reach into the depth of your soul, of your being, and, and lead you, and inspire you, and give you the peace and the clarity of all the things that you ever ever look for. The gospel today see the power of Christ revealed to the Israelite. The power of Christ in the encounter with the demons. And the demons at the end be cast out by that power. And and then we see how the, how the village people reacted to that, that, that very frightened power, they are afraid. They said, please go. We don't want you here. How about each and every one of us? What kind of reaction do we have when we encounter Christ every single day, every single week, that we come to the altar and receive him? Because the requirement for transformation, brothers and sisters, is the openness of the heart. It's the work of the heart to allow yourself to be transformed by this power. This is the reality of our spiritual life. This is the reality of the love that God has for you. He's waiting. He's knocking on your door. What you need is just to open it a little, and then he will do the work for you.
let us bring our prayers before God, who gives us everything we need. For Pope Francis, may the Lord bless him with strength and good health as he continues his ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayers. For lawmakers, may God guide their hearts to enact legislation that respects the dignity of all life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayers. For the sick and those caring for them, may the peace only Christ can give refresh their spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For members of this community, may the Holy Spirit inspire us in works of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the faithful departed, may the angels welcome them to paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to our Lord those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Ever-living God, hear our prayers and grant all that we ask in your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of, of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his assistant Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. Boldly say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Do you want to use this thing? Yeah. Okay. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, Jesus I, believe I believe that you are, you are present presence. in the most holy sacrament. I, I love, love you above, above all things, things and, and I desire to receive you into my soul. soul. Since, Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. you. Never, Never permit, permit me to be separated from you. you. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that mount to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Say, Michael, the Archangel, Your angels, defend, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snare of the devil. devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other and the evil spirits who prowl around the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.